welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be going out on the sea eagle stand-up paddleboard um this is probably the most requested video that i keep getting from people and i'm really happy to put it together because as you guys know i love my board um i'm just going to kind of run through quick how i set it up and i'm not going to do like I'm not gonna do like a full layout where I show you everything it comes with and all that stuff because that's just like if you want to see that go on the Sea Eagle website they do they have someone that does all that and they talk about the grab bag with the little carry handles and you know whatever all that all that crap what I'm gonna show you guys is exactly how I set it up to get on the water quick and how I use it and break it down I'm not gonna there's not gonna be like any extra fluff or anything like that this is gonna be the canal cowboy like express special on how I use this paddleboard. So we're headed to the spot right now. I'm really hoping that we can get on a nice big snook, um, but whether we do or not, we're still gonna get some footage of setting up, breaking down, and uh, usage and all that good stuff. So see you guys over there. I'm here at the spot, but before I get out, there's something I gotta say. As far as any spots that you see in my videos, in Instagram or YouTube or whatever, if you know, you know. Don't call out spots on my posts, okay? If you know where it is, awesome. Come fish it, enjoy it. If you don't know where it is, you know what? You can figure out spots to fish by where you live. You can explore the same way that the rest of us find spots, all right? So if you know, you know. Please don't call out spots on the post. Simple as that, thanks. All right, so what we got right here is we have our BP-12 pump. This comes with the board. Um, and we're going to just clip it right to our battery. Obviously, you're going to go negative to negative, positive to positive. From here, you're going to connect the hose. So you see right here, this little switch, when it's down, it's open. That means the air can come in and out. So right now, it's down. We want to twist and turn till it pops up. When it's up, it's in the closed position. So from the up closed position, we're going to put our hose, turn it, and that's it. You come over here, you set the desired PSI. So with this switch, whatever number you put it to, it's gonna stop when it hits that PSI. So you can see I have it on 13. I do that because, I put it on 13 because it's still morning time now and it's cool out, but as it gets hot, uh, the, heat, the heated air is gonna expand and it's gonna cause the uh, the pressure inside the board to increase. So I'm just kind of under inflating to leave room for it to uh, expand. All right, so real quick, I'm just gonna put my fins on. So it comes equipped with one, two, three fins, two smaller fins on the outside, and then one longer fin in the middle. What I do is I just do the two small fins on the outside. And so it just slides in, there's a little slot there, and you lock it, that's it. And what I'll do is only if I'm paddling, I'll put the big fin for tracking. All right. So what you guys are going to notice that I've done differently here is typically your battery would mount right here. But because I'm so heavy and the setup of the battery and motor that I have is so heavy, I've moved the battery up. And normally the back of the seat would rest here, but I've moved the seat up. And this is just... Um, spreading out that weight get a nice even weight distribution makes me more buoyant and it also helps the board track through the water so I take the strap and I tie it right there and I put my excess leader right there and just to keep it really simple I have this little case this is actually my phone or my sunglasses case from Cas King and, and I clip it right onto my battery and in here I keep my extra GoPro batteries my car keys and my ID. All right, so I went ahead and I strapped my batteries down. I got a bungee cord that's nice and tight. Like I said, my keys, ID, and extra GoPro batteries are here and they're clipped on. And then I got my motor that I just put right onto the transom. You have these little twist handles here. You just tighten it down and that's it. You're good to go. So as you guys can see, I have my paddle. Always bring your paddle just in case of mechanical failure or something with your, with the uh, motor. Sometimes I like to cut the motor off and just paddle, it's therapeutic. So I've got my water, 
and that's it um what you guys are going to notice about my style with this is i'm like very minimalist i want to take as little stuff as possible and travel light okay now this board can be like totally decked out if you guys want to see this board with depth finders extra rods grab racks all that stuff i want you to go over to hawaiian dan talkfish tv hawaiian dan's youtube channel and he's got his board decked out he takes this thing offshore with depth finders all that stuff grab racks i mean the thing is loaded down so the capabilities are pretty much endless but like i said as far as me i want to travel light and quiet so now that we've pushed off all i'm going to do is turn around i'm going to use my foot to push down this handle get my motor where i want it actually like it up one more position and that's it There it is. There it is. Don't let go, baby. Keep that head up, head up, head up. Don't let go. Get over here. Get over here. Get out of that bridge. 
Get out of that bridge. Oh my god. Oh, come here, girl. Oh, come here, girl. I miss you. Add a girl. Add a girl. Just about there at zero. And she's just tipping the uh, 36 inch mark. On our Savage Gear line through mullet. We're fishing from our Sea Eagle Fish Sub 126. I'm gonna put the link for that in my bio. So if you guys are interested in checking out one of these boards, just go ahead and uh, go down to the description and uh, click that link. I love this style of fishing. Um, being micro, being on a stand-up paddle board, you're so stealth, you're so under the radar. This fish had no idea I was there. I was totally silent. And that's, oh, there she goes. She's starting to come around. And that's the stuff you have to do to get bites, especially in Southeast Florida, where these fish are so pressured that you have to go that extra mile to get a bite. Oh, she's kicking now. As you saw during the fight, I mean, it was brutal. She's in the pillars, she's in the trees. Um, we almost lost her for a second there. That's it. We're broke down. Let's roll. It all fits in the back of a truck or in the back seat of a car or whatever in your kid's wagon. Wow. So today turned out to be just an awesome day of fishing. I caught a 37 inch snook. Um, I got hit by a tarpon and then I jumped another tarpon and um, there was just life everywhere. It's, it's, it's so nice to go out and see days like this where the jacks were hitting, the mullet were running around, the minnows were getting chased. It just seemed like everything was alive and it's, it's just so fun to be out there and, and to do it in a way that is so stealthy that it's almost like you're standing on the water, you know? And I think that's part of why I enjoy stand-up paddleboard fishing so much um, as opposed to being on a boat. Obviously being on a boat is cool, but just to like stand on the water and have that view into the water, see everything going on around you. And at the same time, you're so quiet and you're so stealth. I've had times where I'm three feet away from a 40 inch snook and he doesn't even spook. He's just like, okay, what's this? <laughs> so you always have that, you have that edge, that advantage um, being stealthy like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to leave the link below for Sea Eagle if you're interested in checking out a board, um, seeing what kind of packages they come with. I already know two guys that have ordered them, Reggie and another guy, I forgot his name, but I'm planning uh, planning fishing trips with both of them. So as soon as their boards come in, we're going to be out together on the fish subs hunting snook. So if any of you guys end up buying one, let me know and we'll plan a trip to get together and we'll go out and slay them. Thanks for watching guys and uh, we'll talk to you later.